Hello and welcome to this activity. Today, you're going to be learning how to draw this silhouette against a colourful Northern Lights background using the drawing tools in Adobe Express. Open up Adobe Express and in the Create menu, scroll down until you see the option Create a Drawing. Click on this icon to start a new project. Select the brush icon from the left hand menu and we're going to change the brush to one that's in Art Supplies. Click on the Art Supplies tab and then scroll down through the brushes until you find one that's called Watercolour Fill. Keeping the colour as black, we're going to increase the size of the brush as big as we can get it and use it to cover our canvas. We're going to create a gradient as we move down the page, starting with a very dark colour and decreasing this intensity as we move down the canvas. We're going to create a dark, colourful sky as the backdrop for our northern lights. So select a dark blue colour and blend it with the black near the top of your page. Decrease the intensity as you move down the page, then change the colour to a more purpley tone. Blend this with the blue and extend it down the page, decreasing its intensity, then finally mix it with some pink. You might want to finish by going back to black to fill in any areas that you've missed and help blend your colours. Our dark background will provide a high contrast with our bright northern lights. To add in the northern lights, we need to change brush. We're going to use a brush under the Art Supplies tab called Airbrush. Choose a contrasting colour for your northern lights. I'm going to use this light blue colour but I'm going to customize it to make it brighter and lighter so my lights stand out against our dark background. The northern lights occur when tiny charged particles from the sun crash into the Earth's atmosphere and make it shine. These waves form glowing curtains that seem to dance across the sky. To recreate this, we're going to draw curvy lines across the page and then use our brush to draw straight lines upwards following along this path. You can go over your lines as many times as you like, making some areas brighter than others. You can change the colour of your brush to add in lights of different colours, but keep that motion the same, sweeping upwards from your path. I'm going to add in light greens, dark greens, some blue and some yellow. If you feel you have too much colour, you can use the black and sweep downwards from the top of the page to reduce the intensity. And if you want to add some highlights, change your brush to white and pick out parts of your drawing to make them brighter. With our sky complete, it's time to draw a silhouette in front of our northern lights. Use the hard round brush. Keep the colour as black and reduce the size down to about 25. On your canvas, draw a ground line near the bottom of the page and use the brush tool to completely fill this in. Put two fingers on your screen and pinch your fingers outwards to zoom into the area where we're going to draw our stag. You might want to make your brush even smaller as you draw the stag's outline. Start by drawing the body of the stag as a rounded rectangle a little above your ground line. Add an oval for the chest and neck and then a rounded triangle for the stag's head. Use lines to mark in where the four legs of the stag will go. The front knees point forward and the back knees point backwards. Then add a little bump for its tail. Mark on where you want the antlers to sit and then go around the outside of your outline, smoothing out each of the shapes until you have a long continuous curve. Use the brush to completely fill in the stag's body. Then thicken up the legs so they're in proportion with the rest of your drawing. Make sure the tops of the legs are thicker than the bottom. Smooth off any sharp lines on your silhouette 
And if you want to make any changes, for example, making the nose a little pointier, you can do this now. On the top of your stag's head, create a series of branching curved lines, one for each antler. The antlers should be thicker towards the base and thinner towards the tip. You might need to reduce the size of your brush in order to create this. Finally, give your deer an ear. Our stag looks pretty good on its own, but this is the north, so we're going to add in some fir trees. I'm going to add in some lines to mark the height of my trees and use the triangle brush to make some marks down either side of each line to create a silhouette of a forest. You can experiment with using different brushes, for example the grass brush, to add some different textures to your silhouette. Finally, we're going to add some stars in the sky. So go back to your soft round brush, make the colour white, reduce the size and add in some stars. If you're interested in astronomy, you could draw in some real constellations or use your imagination and add in stars where you think they look best. When you're happy with your project, you can name it. I'm going to call this one Northern Lights. Your project will save into Adobe Express, but to download a copy onto your iPad, click the download button in the top right corner of the screen, press download, then press download again to save to your camera roll. We hope you enjoyed trying this activity and learning how to draw the northern lights with a silhouette in front of them. Why not use your imagination, your creativity skills and the drawing tools in Adobe Express to create a completely different scene in front of some northern lights. <laughs> <laughs>